So, having said all that beautiful ancient thing, <laughs> things, <laughs> let's get down to to the main theme of the chat, supposedly. Yep. Yeah. Let's first start from how I found you and how, why I was fascinated by your character and your personality. So, I think I was again uh, in, Tim, in Tim's channel and there was a video that you did together, I think. Mm -hmm. You were all in your basement and you were lifting heavy weights and uh, doing weird things and there was Norse music playing in the background and I was like, first, that was weird when I saw it and then it was intriguing. What are these guys doing there in the basement and the music was beautiful, I might add, uh, great choice. And then I saw your your tools and the things you did, and then I dived into to your Instagram and your thing, and I, and, and I was, it was the first time for me because many people in fitness, you know, we know the basics, mm. we know the gyms, you know, we know the machines, you know the programming, uh, programming exercises and the muscles and blah blah blah, the very basic stuff. Mm. But then I see you and you're doing out of this world stuff and you're wearing only your jeans your <laughs> how you, <laughs> your how do you say this in a, it's a term uh, my performance enhancing denim yes exactly <laughs> exactly and i was fascinated so how came this to be yeah i guess that you, you know it's always funny when uh, people talk about my strength training stuff because for so many people it is like you said very strange very weird stuff that they haven't seen before whereas for me if i go into a gym and i see people doing machines it's very strange to me it's that's what i consider weird i do what i do i consider it normal and what most people would consider as normal i consider to be strange and i guess that's a natural evolution a divergence of uh of, of just where i you know i was on the path I got into fitness and I got into strength training, you know, with a desire to become stronger for my grappling. And, um, you know, I, I, I slowly diverted away off of that path. And then, you know, the further you're on a different route, the further away that you get. And then that's that's where we look at now. And, and, and the reason for that was mainly because, uh, well, I, I, I got into strength training. I joined a commercial gym when I was about 16 years old and I was reading a book at the time called Dinosaur Training by Brooks Kubik, you might know it. And uh, he he hates the commercial gym world and he says, forget about that, forget about the fancy machines, you just need a thick bar, you need some weights, you need to do curls and presses and deadlift and squat and bench and row, and that's all you need. So I took it to heart and you know, when I was 16 or 17, probably 17 years old, I cancelled my gym membership and instead I just bought a, a thick bar with like 90 kilos of weights and, and, and that's it. I just had that one bar, just one thing and, and, and you know, everything else, any, all, all the other equipment that I used was stuff that I just had made together, DIY stuff, chains and ropes and cardboard boxes and everything and I started training like that. And that's basically was, was, was the birth point and the, the beginning of the evolution into what I do today and slowly you know cleared out the garage and started to to, to to get acquire more equipment over the years and continue down that that path and then you know get into sandbags and get into stone lifting and get more into grip training because with the jiu-jitsu the grip is such an important part so naturally as a, as, a, as a grappler i was interested in the grip training aspect and uh and yeah that's that's where i got to today so just a natural evolution from the starting point that i got and you know, doing different experiments with different things and, and, and learning and experience. You know, I've been lifting lifting weights for probably 10 to 12 years now. So consistently, so over that time, you learn things and you change your training strategies. <laughs> 